expose our daughters and our sons and their bodies to the world with no care, with no thought about it. The same thing people were in the beach, they were in the bathroom, but somebody opened that door in the bathroom, they cover themselves up. But you freely show your body on the beach and have no despair about it at all. Why? Because we are lost in a broken people. We have to return back to God's laws. Read what you got. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 29. Come on. Do not prostitute thy daughter. God said what? Do not prostitute thy daughter. God told us, do not prostitute our daughters, even our sons. Read. To cause her to be a whore. To cause her to be a what? To be a whore. Come on. Lest the land fall to autumn and the land become full of wickedness. What's happened to our land, sisters? Brothers, what's happened to our land? That our land, the people where we dwell at, not fall into whoredom. Everywhere you turn, there's adultery and fornication. We feed and thrive off that thing. There's TV shows that amp up fornication and adultery. Right. Everything in America, everything thrives off of wickedness in this land. Promise, how, how have we become so comfortable with wickedness? When the last time you went into a Walmart or a JCPenney? You see what time of year it is? Do you notice what's ex was exposed on in, the, in those stores? Next time you walk into a Walmart or a Target or or, or Macy's or something like that, hey, sis. look around into the um into the summer section when they're selling summer clothes. You can record what's me. being exploited. You see little children in underwear being exploited in department stores. Right. They've made you comfortable with pedophilia. Right. How sick is that? My brothers and sisters walk around and we're comfortable with pedophilia. We walk into the department stores and we see little children dressed in underwear and bras and we think it's okay because it's on a billboard. No, it's not okay. I love my people. I love my brothers. I love my sisters. I love the children. And I refuse to see my people be victims of child sex trafficking right. because the parents fail to cover their children up. Right. The parents fail to go over God's laws. Right. Read it again from the top. Do not prostitute thy daughter. God said, do not prostitute thy daughters, brothers and sisters. Read. To cause her to be a whore. Don't cause your sisters and your daughters to be whores. Read. Lest the land fall to harm. And lest the land fall to harm. We're past that already. Right here in Hampton Roads, Virginia. Bring it up. We are in harm. Right. Many of brothers and sisters have been put to death because of fornication and adultery. Covetousness. This man want that man's woman. That woman want that man's uh, man. Because we have indulged ourselves in wickedness. Right. Read. Hey, and the land become full of wickedness. Our people have to wake up. We have to understand who we are and what's expected of us. We can't keep walking around blinding ourselves, being asleep, because no more can we blame everybody in the world. No more can we do that. Yes, there's systems set in place to keep us oppressed, but that doesn't mean you have to be naive to what's going on and unaware of the attacks of your enemies against you. Right. The Bible exposes all the devices of our enemies. Some are hidden from us. But there's things that's put in the forefront to help our people. We got to come back to the laws of God. Right. Give me righteousness in the Bible. Do the running. We got to return back to the righteousness of this Bible. All right? No, I don't have a question. How you doing, sister? You been listening? I was listening. Me and my daughter, we literally just got into a, a verbal dispute because of the same thing. I don't believe in that. I hate that. I was a victim of it. And these women, a lot of things that I see here in Virginia, they know that these things take place. They are part of So you've been a victim of sexual assault? Everywhere. Of everywhere. Right. Watch yeah. this. You be righteous. Watch this, sis. Because the reason that happened to you, because people aren't keeping God's laws. Right. If you people were keeping God's laws, you wouldn't have been sexually assaulted. That's Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 25. Read. And it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments. Sis, those things wouldn't have happened to you if brothers observed and did the commandments of God. Right. If they observed, means study and did them. You wouldn't have been a victim. 
Right. But that brother was in vict and that brother was in pure wickedness. That's what the Bible was talking about in Leviticus. That the that the uh, nation would fall under whoredom. And that's what we see today happening, my people. That's what we see. Our brothers' minds are fixated on lasciviousness, right. on concupiscence. All they do is walk around like a lion, seeing who they can devour. Right. All our sisters do is walk around, seeing who they can throw it at. Right. Next thing you notice, you knocked up, you by yourself, and now you mad saying there ain't no good men out here. Right. You played the whore, sister, That's right. and that brother followed up with it. Both of you were foolish because you refuse to keep the laws of God. Right. Everybody want to go to heaven, but don't want to do what it takes to get to heaven. That's right. Nobody want to keep the laws of God. That's right. Let's go over some more laws. Let's go over Deuteronomy. No, give me 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. Let's, let's deal with this apparel of our sisters out here. We deal with our brothers and our sisters. Let's deal with them. 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. How should, we, how should our brothers and our sisters carry themselves? How should they do it so the land won't fall into, ho into hoarder? So brothers and sisters won't be lusting over each other. Read what you got. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 9. Come on. And like men also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. What you, how, you, how you doing, brother? What's your name? Q, let's define this modest apparel. Are we going to show you? We're going to explain it to you in the Bible. We're going to explain it to you. Read it again from the top, real slow for Brother Q. Come around, Brother Q. He coming to argue. And like men also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Okay, so I need somebody to look up the word modest for me. In what language? Officer, can you look up modest for me? No, in what language? In the English language so everybody can understand right. because everybody out here speaks English right, but there in America. There so let's bring out the word modesty for all the brothers and sisters who want to hear the word of God and who want to repent. Right. But there wasn't let's read what modesty is. But that wasn't modest back then. Let's read this. That English. Modest. Dressing or behaving so as to avoid impropriety or indecency. Dressing or behaving, especially to avoid attracting sexual attention. Especially to avoid attracting sexual attention. So that lets you know the spirit that's behind in modesty is purposely to invoke sexual attention. Therefore, the land will fall into horror. But you have a lustful brother out here that doesn't want to hear the word of God. And all he wants to do is expose his sisters so he can sleep with them. Right. Sisters, beware of wickedness. When the word of God comes out quickly, it wasn't the devil comes. Read that again what you got. First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. And like men also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So we love our sisters. We don't want our sisters to be victims of sexual abuse that always goes on. Because brothers lurk out them when they're dressed in immodest apparel. So we got to come back to God's law. Read what you, uh, give me Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. Watch this. You want to speak to me, they Watch this. Me. I'm not doing that. You, what's your question? I'm just asking. What's your question? It wasn't just a fine, it's just dress. Do you have a question? I just told you. All right, Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. It's still going into modest and immodest apparel. Right. The Lord said, women shall not pertain to a man, and what else? Sir. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Hey, what are we reading? This is what? The book of Deuteronomy. The the, one of the books of Moses way back then. Women had certain apparel and men had certain apparel. So let's get the apparel in Exodus talking about the britches. Let's see what men wore during that time. Let's see what men wore. Read what you got. The, the book of Exodus, chapter 28 and verse 40. This is my platform. My brother reads when I tell him to. Read Exodus about the bridges, brother. Read. I'm Exodus, chapter 28 and verse 41. And thou shalt put them upon Aaron, thy brother, and his sons with him, and shall anoint them, and consecrate them, and sanctify them. So this is the brothers and the sons, which is... Referring to the men in the congregation, the men of the nation, read, that they may minister unto me in the peace office. What they wore. Watch this. We're going to read some more. I can tell you the scripture. And thou shalt make them linen breeches. Linen what? Linen breeches. Linen breeches. 
britches. Where used to say back in the day, pull your, pull your britches up, boy. Stop showing your drawers. The men wore britches. The men wore pants. So contrary to that, let's fast forward. What did the women wear? It wasn't The women wore dresses. Same thing your great great grandmothers wore. Right hand slavery. That's right. Your grandmothers wore dresses. Your great grandmothers wore uh, dresses. And guess who else wore dresses? Your mothers wore dresses. The apparel for women and the apparel for men were pants and apparel for women were dresses. So this is going over the modest apparel for our nation. This is what love is. So let's show what love is in the Bible. Let's go to 2 John and 6. We're going to show them in the Bible what the love is of the Bible. We're going to give it to our people. Read what you got. 2 John verse 6. Read what you got. The book of 2 John, chapter verse 6. And this is love, that we walk after his commandments. So God says it's love that we walk after his commandments. One of those commandments are Men and women dressing in modest apparel, right. carrying yourselves as royalty. Because brothers and sisters, you are royalty according to God. But you gotta carry is. yourselves that way. We don't know what according it is. to the Bible, read what you got. We don't know what it is. Give me uh, Psalms 19 and 7. The Bible We're gonna show you what royalty, royalty is according is. to the Bible. How is it gonna get you there? It Through the laws the of God. Right. Give me Psalms chapter 19 color. and verse 7. It only gave Watch us what the, the Bible color. says. Read what you got, brother. Read. The book. Of Psalms chapter 19 and verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. You don't know how to the be testimony that. of Lord of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, the rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure. So it said the laws of God are perfect. We don't know how so to do that. So people that keep the laws of God, they do what? We don't they have an understanding of this Bible. Give me Psalms 111 and we verse 10. Bring it up. Give me Psalms 111. I'm going to show you something in the Bible, brothers and sisters. When you keep the laws of God, you have understanding. We don't know when you how don't to do that. humble yourself and you don't keep the laws of we God, you have no that. understanding. Right. So we're going to get this and we're going to give you a law. Read what you got. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 111 and verse 10. Come on. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Fear. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Read. That's not what it means. A good understanding. A good understanding of God's laws. Read. Have all they that, that do his commandments. No, that do what? That do his commandments. The understanding comes from the prophets of God that do his commandments, that can teach his other brothers and sisters. What does that mean? Give me the law. Or not shaving your head or shaving your beard. That's Hebrew. Give me that law. That's watch Hebrew, what you brother. watch this. You Read what you got. The book of Leviticus, chapter 21, and verse 5. Jeez. They shall not make baldness upon their head. They should not make baldness upon their head. Read. Who is they? Neither shall they shave off Who the corner of their beard. Who is so they? a brother that shaves his no, head and shaves his beard they is they, not bro. keeping God's no, laws. No, no. That's right. Therefore, they have no understanding no, of this Bible. That's right. It's Give me Proverbs day. about not keeping the customs of the heathen. Give me Proverbs 30. Watch this. 3 Yo, 3 and 31. Hellish Proverbs shim. chapter 3 and verse 31. What people Man, had us into Hebrew. captivity? You don't the don't Egyptians Hebrew, had us in captivity. No, 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 no. So no, watch no, this. No. Read what you got. No, no, no. This is the book of Proverbs insane, chapter you know. 3 and verse 31. Come on. Envy thou not the oppressor. God told us to envy not the oppressor. Right. Were we not oppressed by the Egyptians in Egypt? No. Right. How did they dress? No. They wore makeup. They shaved no. their hair. No. They shaved their beard. No. They, they were infeminate. No. Right. Same thing today. Bald-headed brothers no. with the Michael Jordan and the no. Charles Buckley no. and the bald faces no. that know the laws of God no. but do contrary no. are in the midst of sin, right. and they observe their oppressors. They envy their oppressors. Right. Read it again. Read. Envy thou not the oppressor, uh -huh. and choose none of his ways. What are the ways of the heathen? Shaving your head. That's with right. that Gillette yeah. razor, with that chic razor. Hey. Shaving your beard. Brothers, envy in their oppressors. Read. Watching your face is also Read a sin, bro. Read it again. Watch envy face. thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. Brothers that's walking around with these Egyptian customs, they envy their oppressors that's and they the speak contrary to God's laws. Right. That's what it's going into. The brother has no understanding yes, he because does. he's not keeping God's yes, laws. He right. Let's get another law. 
Give me Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. We're going to go through laws, and then what we're going to do is show what other people are doing contrary to God's laws, which shows they have no understanding. Right. Numbers right. chapter 15, and verse 38. Read what you got. The book of Numbers chapter 15, and verse 38. I will speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Brothers observing and doing righteousness have fringes in the borders of their garments, and they come to teach. The people to do the same thing. Read throughout their generations that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that you may look upon it. These fringes are for us to look upon them to remember to do what? Keep reading. And remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. To remember all the commandments of the Lord, not the heathen, not the customs of the Egyptians, but of the Lord to do what? And that you seek not after your own heart. Don't seek after your own heart. Read. And your own eyes. In your own eyes, your own understanding. Read. After which ye used to go a horn. Used to go what? Go a horn. That ye may remember and do all my commandments to remember and do all your commandments so keeping the commandments of God gives you understanding of the laws statutes and commandments brothers and sisters these are some of the laws that we have to keep of God but what happens as soon as the word of God comes out who come popping up the devil God Satan himself. come popping up God every himself. single time. Every, single time. every time the word of God comes up, blue. somebody wants to come and interrupt the word of God when he's trying to come out and teach his people. Right. Read what you got. Give me that in Mark. The book of Mark, chapter 4 and verse 15. Right and these are they by the wayside uh -huh. where the word is sown. Come on. But when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately. Who comes immediately? Satan cometh immediately. Who comes immediately? Satan cometh immediately. As soon as the word of God comes out to teach the people out of their righteousness because death is coming, Satan pops up. That's right. right up. Satan pops up. That's right. As soon as we want to help people and teach people how to live righteousness so we won't keep getting God down in the streets, Satan pops up. Right. We want people to live. We want life to come forth. Give me Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 2. Because we love the people. Read what you got. Proverbs 72. The book of Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 2. Keep my commandments and live. Keep do what? Keep my commandments. Keep my commandments and live. One of God's commandments, don't shave your head. Don't shave your head. Keep those commandments to live. One of God's commandments to wear fringes on your clothes. That's one of God's commandments. Let's go to the dietary laws. Let's go to Leviticus chapter 11. You eat shrimp? You eat shrimp? No, sir. You eat shrimp? No, sir. Crab, lobster, pork? I bet you eat pork. Watch this. Read what you got. Read what you got. The book of Leviticus, chapter 11 and verse 7. And the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, Clove yourself in modest apparel, brother. That's in modest. It's, ch it's children out here. You're showing your underwear. I'm 60 That's years in old. modest apparel, brother. I'm 60 years old. You're 60 and you're acting like a child. There's young girls out here, and the brother is showing his underwear. That's in modest apparel, brother. Sir, Did I tell y'all earlier? There's pedophiles out here. Right. There's perverts out here. Listen, brother. It's babies over Listen, here, brother. and the brother is Listen, showing his underwear. Listen, brother. Brother, Listen. sister, you to we have to something. wake up, brothers and sisters. You to this is something. what God warns us Everybody about. Out here we got to wake up. Everybody we got to come back to the laws me, of God. Right. This is what I don't want when the little children to see. Here, the undergarments of an elder man. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is you. And fire!